Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and we're gonna do a little comparison video here today. I've had all kinds of people tell me different things about what material we should use, and I've got competitors that use material and all that, so you know what? We're just gonna take a look and we're gonna run some tests, and you can decide what you think. I know what I think, or I know what I know after uh, almost 30 years in this business, but let me show you what we've got. For shelving, you basically have four options, So, and one of them is not really an option. This is one that I took out the other day out of an old home, and this is about a 10, 12 inch wide shelf that is sawn right off of a tree, uh, painted on one side. I don't even know if you can buy boards like this anymore, but if it is, it's cost prohibitive. And is one thing you'll notice as we look down this panel that it is, you know, it's warped and all of that. So option, very expensive. Anything you're gonna see today in a real wood is actually gonna be a veneer on a core anyways, but this is you know an option. If you want pure wood, that's what you've got. Um, the other stuff that we've got on here, this is, this is raw MDF, uh, medium density fiberboard. It's real small pieces of sawdust that are glued together, uh, very similar to particle board. It's just that the, the density of it and the fiber is much smaller. Particle board, as you can see, has got bigger pieces of big, bigger particulate in it, bigger chunks of sawdust in there, and that is glued together very, very similar. And is what we use. We use a thermo thermofused melamine on uh, an industrial grade particle board core. And if you look at it, you'll notice that it's got fine on the top and on the bottom in the middle, it's got larger pieces. It's designed that way. Uh, so that you get a smooth finish on the edge, on the, on the top and the bottom, but you have good holding power with screws and other items in, it, as you get deeper into the board. So it's very strong, very stable. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some liquid on it and I'm gonna leave it overnight and come back because I had somebody tell me that, oh, MDF is way better than a particle board uh, for moisture. Well. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little bit of water on it and the Windex is gonna be my water. It's got some blue color so it'll show up. And we're gonna use a little bit of out of the fireproof cabinet, some Dextron, Mercron, automatic transmission fluid for our oil-based stuff. We're gonna put uh, a little bit on each one and we'll come back in the morning and see how they look. There you have it. So on the melamine, we've got a pretty good uh, puddle of Windex, a little bit of transmission fluid. Same thing on the MDF, already soaking in, and then the uh, the transmission fluid, and then on the particle board, the same thing. So we'll check back in the morning and see how it looks. The other test that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about screw holding ability. And it, what I'm, I've just got, uh, this is a piece of MDF here. This actually, we use, I'm not saying that we don't ever use it. This is a piece of our, high gloss door material that we've got. And I just took a scrap of it and we're gonna run screws into the edge of that as well as just a regular piece of particle board to see what happens with it when we put screws in it on the horizontal plane. First up is the MDF. And so we're just gonna put a couple of screws in it. And I don't know if you can see this right there. First thing we did when we put it in, you can see that it split in the horizontal grain. So if I put another one here on the edge. Yep. Once again, we get a split. That's because MDF isn't designed for structure this way. Now let's try our particle board. Go this there. Okay, that one held really good until I got the head right into it. I'm gonna stop just a bit short this time. Same thing here, we'll do three screws. This one I was pretty close to the edge. So this one here, when we, when we ran the screw down into it, it widened up and split it out. But this guy here, when we stopped, the second one, we stopped the head fl almost flush with it. We didn't get any separation in the horizontal plane. Same thing when we put another one two inches next to it. So you can see that the particle board in the horizontal plane holds much better. What's that mean is if you're screwing cabinets together, if you're doing a joint like this and you're screwing into 
can see that here. If you're screwing a cabinet together or nailing a cabinet together, when you in, if you're doing it in the MDF and you put those screws in, it's gonna separate like that and not be near as strong. Now we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna take this one step farther on the strength thing. I'm gonna, these are the screws that we put in. You can see that it's split there, so you can already guess what's gonna happen. I'm gonna back them out a little bit. Just, just like that, so I can get a hammer on it. And let's see if I can pull these guys out with that. So, regular hammer. I'm all out of shape, I'm not a muscle guy. But pulled that one right out. And pulled that one right out. So you can see the MDF split there. So anybody that tells you this is structurally better, I gotta say no. But first, let's compare it to the particle board and see if I can get that out. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna pull it out about the same distance there on both of them. Just barely see the, the threads coming out. Let's see what happens now. So this is the MDF one. Okay, I got that one out. You can see that I put a little bit more effort into it. And I got that one out with a lot of stinking effort into it. I'm gonna say probably three times the force to pull those two screws out. And you can see that it still hasn't split the panel. It's torn out a little bit, but you're not gonna be putting that kind of force on it compared to that. I was gonna wait to check on this until the morning and it's really only been about 15, 20 minutes since I put it down, but let's take a look at it. So on the, on the melamine one, it's spread out and it's still puddled there. We still have a lot of liquid on it. The MDF is, uh, has soaked in 100% throughout it. You can see on the edge here where it started to stain. Same thing here, this is soaking in. The transmission fluid on the melamine is still there. And the particle board, the same thing, the water has uh, completely soaked in. And the same thing with the transmission fluid, it's starting to soak in. So in the morning, it should be interesting to see what we've got here. 12 hours later, here's what the results are of our liquid testing on there on the, uh, the melamine. The, the Windex is evaporated and <clears throat> rubbing up there. It looks like it's gonna clean up and go back there. The transmission fluid is still there. We do have a little bit we got a little bit over on the edge. We've got some on there, but nothing is soaked in. The MDF, the water is completely gone, but you can see, let's see, we can see in here, you can see how it's soaked in throughout the whole system. Um, the transmission fluid, same thing is all soaked in. And the same thing with the particle board. Let's take a look. We're gonna cut them out down the middle and see what, what we can see. mess there. Let's wipe that up. <clears throat> so that's a couple of paper towel and uh, some Windex cleaning up after the transmission fluid on there and there is no discernible damage. I still got a little bit of residue on there. If I cleaned it a little better, it would come out. But uh, <clears throat> melamine, thermal fused melamine, no penetration, no damage to the to the the face or the core of the structure there. Uh, this one here, you can see when we cut this one apart with the transmission fluid, you can see that it's soaked in to it. Same thing with the water. You can see that it's real good but you can see that it's soaked in yeah uh, with the part of the, the bare particle board definitely uh raised up a little bit on both the oil and uh the water so <clears throat> you know judge for yourself what you want in your cabinets uh but thermal fuse melamine on a particle board core is a stronger more durable product than any uh raw mdf that anybody's going to tell you is waterproof because it's not uh, the screw holding ability, we showed you that, that when the cabinets are assembled, they're going to be stronger. Hands down, I believe that this is the best product for your garage cabinets and other uh, cabinets that we're building. 
for, for interiors and things like that.